let's have a look at how to create chases in DPro. There are two approaches to creating chases. The first one is the way you would do it on a traditional desk where you create a number of static cues. For example, there's one that sets all the moving heads to red and uh, green and blue. Save each of these static looks as a queue and then stitch them together into a queue list. So red followed by green followed by blue and then say green again. Now if I play that it's just going to cycle through the looks in order and we can play with our timing to speed it up and down. But that's quite a crude way of creating um, a chase if you just want to create a chase running sequentially around the 16 lights. The queue list approach is very good if you need fine control over particular parameters on particular lights. But there's an easier way to create chases and we'll look at that now. From the programmer, let's say we want to make our lights chase in a clockwise direction um, with the colour red. So I've got some groups set up here. First I'll select the group that selects the lights all of them in a clockwise manner and I'll set up the dim level and set it to red. The way to make a chase is to use the effects menu and for this one I'm going to use the ready-made shutter chase effect. And you can see the default setting for that is to chase one light in a clockwise direction. We can muck about with the, the shutter chase just by clicking in the effect parameter panel, change it to backward chase. We can change the width of the chase which will make more or fewer lights lit. Obviously change the speed, slow it down and speed it up. And we can change the level to make it a subtle chase like that. And there are also some options to change from a hard chase to a smooth chase. Let's clear the programmer and show another. Say you want to make the lights chase in a, a range of colours. Again we would select our devices and set them up to a starting position so I'm going to set them to 50% grey. And there's a very useful general purpose effect called attribute oscillator. What this lets us do is choose any attribute of our fixture and oscillate it up and down in a, a variety of patterns. You can see the default is to oscillate the dimmer, giving you that effect. If we change that to say oscillate the green channel of an RGB fixture, then we get an interesting chase which goes from a purple colour up to a green colour. To make that a chase, we use the spread parameter in the effect and that will make it either chase in a clockwise direction or if we go the other direction. By combining multiple effects we can create some more interesting chases. Let's add an oscillator to make the red channel. We'll use a square wave so we can see what's going on and we'll make that run in a clockwise direction. I'm going to slow that down a little bit and I'm going to change the width so that we just make a few of the lights oscillate in a clockwise direction. I'll bring the dimmer up full in that light. So now we've got one oscillator that's causing the red channels to chase in a clockwise direction but we could also reselect our lights and create another one, attribute oscillator, that makes the blue channel run in the opposite direction.
and again I'll change the width so we just light a few of them. So now what we have is a red chase running clockwise and a blue chase running counterclockwise. And we can layer as many of these effects as we need to create complex chases. It's worth talking about palettes as well, because palettes can be used in conjunction with effects to create some really interesting looks, and quite quickly. Here I have a number of palettes already set up with some static colours. So there's one that sets all the lights to red, purple, yellow, pink. And I've saved those as a general set of colour palettes. And I've got some dimmers that do some chases. This one makes the lights chase in a clockwise direction, about 50% uh, levels. And here's another one that makes them chase in an anti-clockwise direction with full levels. Now once we have a collection of these palettes, we can then combine them very quickly to create some fairly nice looking chases. So I'll reopen the programmer. A simple example is we could select all of our lights and then drag in the red palette and the 100% counterclockwise chase. And there very quickly we've created a red chase. We could change that to be a blue chase just by dragging in the blue palette instead. I'll need to select them first and then drag in the blue palette. And then we could get rid of this red one, we don't need that anymore. Even more interesting than this is the ability to apply palettes to a subset of the fixtures. And this is where groups come in very handy. I'll show you a real quick example, clear the programmer. Now this time I'm going to select the top lights and set those to red by dragging in the red palette. And then select the bottom lights and set those to purple. Then I'm going to select the left lights and make those chase clockwise. And select the right lights and make those run with the second timer. So there we've created quite an advanced chase using four palettes. And palettes are also very useful for pan tilt effects. Another example is we could select our odd fixtures and set those to green. And the even fixtures, set them to orange, make the even fixtures run in a sort of flower pattern and make the odd ones move slowly in a slow fan pattern. So there's a really quite complex synchronized moving effect with just a few clicks using palettes.